guys Kyle caught this nice rockfish today it's a big rockfish we believe it's a um, olive rockfish but you know it could be wrong um, but we're just gonna show you how to flay and then get back in the kitchen we got a great recipe today ceviche but we're gonna start here behind the head um, behind the head of the fish there on one side and we're gonna flip them over and do the same thing Rockfish have really tough scales, so you can see I go underneath the scales like that, and then I'm gonna join those two cuts so it forms kind of like a nice union there. And then you can break the head simply by just twisting it if you want, if you don't want to dull your knife, and then trimming the rest. And it'll pop off with all the guts too. And then we're gonna start filleting it. You can start on the back on either side like this. It doesn't really matter. We have the towel because we it's a firmer surface to work on. But you kind of just start here on whatever side is more comfortable for you. And then we're just gonna go down until we hit the backbone. And you can see we've hit all those bones right here. And then we're gonna come across them, just barely on top of them with a nice angle of your knife. And then when you hit these bones in the center, you'll see they're a little elevated. Right here, I'll poke at them with the tip of my knife. I come right like this, and then I'll go slightly above them, and then finish my cut kind of out. And that'll get me on top of the spine. I'll show you right here too, I'll do it again. We'll go right on top of the spine. Right on top of the spine. And then when you get over them, I'm gonna go on the other side of them, like this. And then you can finish your cut poke it through to the butthole and cut all the way through like that. So then we're pretty much done on this side. And what some guys will do is they'll flip it over so your fish stays flat like this. And now the fish is laying flat instead of it kind of tilting because the meat on the other side is gone. But we're just gonna repeat the same process here. We'll go a little faster this time. You can see there I got a little too close and almost cut through the other side. We're good. And then once we get to this side, we can take the whole side off because we're already, we're done. Ooh. Take the whole side off and there's one of our fillets. And then the other side and simply just run our knives all the way through it. And then we're down on this side too. So we got two big fillets and then we'll take some of these, these rib bones out. There's still gonna be pin bones after this too, but 
and then two nice fillets. Yeah, so that's how you knock out a rockfish, and we're gonna skin these guys out and tune it over to the catch and cook. Okay, here's all the ingredients we're gonna use for the ceviche. We got the red onion, cilantro, one cucumber, an orange, and a couple of limes for citrus. And we got an orange pepper and a yellow pepper. And through the power of YouTube, we're gonna chop these up right now. All finished cutting up all the veggies. We got the cilantro here we diced up pretty thin. And we try to get all our vegetables the same size so you can mix them evenly when you eat a bite of ceviche. So one bite will have a little bit of everything on it. So we also, in this recipe, we're gonna use a little bit of orange juice as well as lime juice in the fish. And we'll soak that first for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then we'll mix in all the vegetables together and the ceviche. There's some Cholula in there or Tapatio, whatever kind of like uh, Mexican hot sauce you like. And then let it chill and serve over chips. All right, we're gonna show you how to turn this into this. Alrighty. So it's easier to flip it over. So you can, I usually just cut them like this in half. And we already took the pin bones out and stuff, but you can check, always check again in your rib bones, like this stuff. It's nice if you cut it out. Little extra scales too. And so the easiest way is to just cut it into strips first. And you want your pieces of like ceviche, or at least the way we like to do it is your pieces of ceviche to be maybe a little bit bigger than your pieces of your vegetables. So in our case, we're aiming for pieces like this size. And then once you have them all cut, you just start chunking them into the right whisk. Doesn't really matter because it's, it's gonna sit and we're gonna do some limes, lemons, or sorry, limes and oranges. Orange juice, a little bit of orange juice so it's not too like strong of a lime flavor. And mix all the rest of the vegetables in and let it marinate for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then it will all be finished and ready to eat. But we'll finish out the rest of this. We have the whole bag of fish to do. And then we're gonna do another recipe with this and this. Kudos to uh, Alex Perrick and those boys, but we'll see you when it's all finished. Alrighty, so we got all of the fish marinating and kind of push it all down so it's in the juice, but you can already see like some of these ones, like these are the last ones that we just cut, like this one, and then this one's been sitting in there a while and it's already marinating, but we're just gonna add some salt. Not too much, but enough for the whole batch. So if it looks like a lot of salt, most of it's gonna come off because we're gonna drain the extra juice in there off so that our whole ceviche is not too limey. Then we're gonna grab some pepper as well. Throw some pepper in there. And then just gonna mix it up. So it's a pretty easy recipe. It takes between, you can start to see it like already marinating pretty fast. But if you want it to go like marinate your fish all the way through, leave it for like at least an hour. If you want your fish to marinate like kind of halfway, still raw and halfway marinated, then leave it for about 20 minutes probably. But the important part is if you're trying to get it to marinate is to make sure it's all nice and flat in there and every piece is touching the juice. Could have used a little more juice, but should be fine. And keep it in the fridge, and we should be good to go. And then we'll mix all the ingredients in a minute. But for now, in the fridge. What's up? So we gotta drain off the rest of the lime juice. It's pretty cooked. We're just gonna try to drain it all off without losing some fish here. All right, we're gonna take our veggie mixture And we need our kitchen aid, Maddie Palma, to mix this. I think you guys remember from a few past videos, all-star point guard. All right, you know what? It needs a spin, right? Hands are clean.
Oh, you got some KitchenAid. Just keep going. I'll tell you what's done. That's good. That's all. So a little bit of Cholula goes a long way. Put your chip under there for the cinematic. There you go. It's good. Mm. 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 Oh, sure. Then we got the hot pan heating up over there with the overprotected stuff. <laughs> and we're going to fry up some more fish, but... For the meantime, thanks for watching. If you aren't a subscriber yet, <laughs> subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos. We're gonna have a good summer, a lot of fishing this summer. So oh, you saw Kyle's new boat today. So it will be a fun summer and we'll get to the island in like 20 minutes. Later guys. Don't hit my camera. <laughs>